We had to use two straps for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, because this cluster of trees here, it's actually three trees. More the steady while I walk around. So there's three trees there. Well, the one strap reached around them all. But the actual reason we had to use two is because this tree here, this one here, was, would have been right in the way of the block. The block should have sit right where I'm standing. But then the lines would be going, rubbing into either one side or the other of this tree here. Because we want lines to go that direction. That's where the arter is. Not allowed to like rub against trees. So my hook tender told me to get another strap, shackle it to the other one, so we can reach around that tree that's in the way. Did I already show you that in this video? There, those are the two straps, those cables we call them straps. Shackled, shackled together. You see how big that is? Pretty skookum. Anyways, so they hold the block. And these smaller cables, we call that straw line, that size of cable. This cable runs down both the two sides there, and it ends on like 200 feet down there. You can take the two ends here, go down there, take those two ends out to where the lines are right now. Can you see that? I can't see it on my phone screen. Too. There, see the cables? They're about 50 feet over there. Hanging on that stump there. We need to get them over to here. So, what we do is, we, he runs the lines around until, there's actually two cables there, where they meet, he makes, where they, where they join together, those big cables that he's using right now. He sets it down on the road, disconnects them from each other, and hooks up the skinny cable, same size as this here. Got thousands of feet of it on there, on the drum on there, on the winch. So then he uses the big cable to pull the skinny cable. And the skinny cable follows the end of the big cable all the way out, through the block, and back down. So, now, so then it's all skinny cable, skinny cable out in the bush, which is light enough for, for a man to to carry around. You can't carry that big cable it's running right now. It wouldn't get anywhere. It's too heavy. Take a team of horses to pull it. And the skinny cable that he sends out and around is in 200, 200 and something foot lengths. Each length is connected just like to the next one. Just like so, like right here. So once he's got that skinny cable all, all pulled out and around, and he stops, and we all make sure good communication. The machine is stopped. He's not gonna pull on the. He's not gonna pull on the cables. So then, I walk out there to where the, to where the one of these joints is, and I disconnect it. And then these wires here that go to the to the new block. I go and I connect them where I've disconnected over there. So that means the machine is now connected to here. And yes, that's, you're right, you thought of that. That means there are leftover cables over there. That's, that's fine. Then, I, then we, the hook tender goes, he gets that leftover cable and that block and the strap. You come and you carry it, pass this one, and over to the next one. And you just do that over and over again.